tell you a little blues here I wrote myself back in the 30s. It's, uh, I call it the Monday morning blues. This uh, Bob is, and I have been friends for a long, long time, and one of my very, very favorite people. He's won more fiddle contests, including the national, uh, several national contests, uh, just three or four years ago, wasn't it, Bobby? Uh, yeah, in '75. That's just a few years ago. If you're if you're 98 years old, it's a few years ago. <laughs> At any rate, uh, Bob is one of the great old-time musicians and has taught so many uh, youngsters to go on, even taught Bobby Fulcher over there. So a few years ago, uh, he's in the Hall of Fame over here, and we have uh, a half a truckload of the trophies, national awards that he's won all over the United States. And uh, he kept saying that he wanted to, to, to donate to the museum, and I really don't solicit donations. Uh, I'd rather buy things than we're he kept saying he wanted to, uh, to donate his fiddle, and I said, Bob, I want you to think about this, talk to your children and so forth, and several years went by, and finally last year he came up and he said, I've decided I want you to have my fiddle. But he added very quickly, now I've got another one, that doesn't mean I'm quitting just because I'm uh, 98 years old. But uh, he, uh, one of the uh, more uh, dramatic moments was when uh, he, uh, laid to rest his uh, fiddle that his daddy and his granddaddy and all of them had carried up and down the mountain. And uh, we, as we, we were putting it in the exhibit, the television station from down in Chattanooga happened to be here and they got him on tape and, uh, and for posterity, I think, 